this is Scott from Land Warrior Airsoft. In this review, I'm going to be looking at my old faithful Warrior L96. Uh, this one is about a week and a half long, as you can see, because this one has a silencer fitted. Um, they don't come with silencers as standard. Uh, the good thing with them, you can fit the Lalax uh, 14mm silencer adapter. The silencer adapter uh, just purely replaces the end cap that's in the rifle. So unscrew the end cap that's there, screw in this, and you can fit any silencer you like. Uh, it does make a, a little bit of a difference to the, the actual muzzle report that comes out, um, you know, which is ideal if you're trying to stay hidden. I've covered mines in lots of sniper tape, cam cream, spray paint, a little bit of everything, makes it look nice and dirty. I like the deserty look on most of my gear, so I went for it in this. And a lot of grasslands and things like that around our site actually blends in really well. Uh, the scope I went for was a, an M3 style scope, mainly because I like the adjusters on the outside for, you know, adjusting for the windage and everything like that, because being an airsoft rifle, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, so you're c constantly, you know, having to make small adjustments throughout. Power of these out the box, uh, most of these tend to be doing between about 450 and 490 straight out the box. These rifles are about £150 normally, you know, you're getting a lot of performance for not a lot of money. Um, and if you're looking for pretty much what I was looking for, which was a sniper rifle that you could take out for a couple of games maybe every now and then, you know, it's, it's a really good option. Being spring, not affected by the weather really, pounds. Um, you know, being a standard scope rail, you could fit anything you wanted on there scope-wise, even EOS techs, red dot sights, anything like that. Let's face it, anything over about three or four times in airsoft anyway is, uh, you know, is overkill. So a red dot sight on there, whatever you fancy. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. Uh, the BBs I've been using in this is the, the Blaster Point 4s. Uh, it brings the, the FPS down, and down to about 330 from about 450. Uh, and I find it gives a nice stable shot, nice and consistent. Uh, a lot of guys try and push the, the FPS. Um, even with a heavier weight BB, but what I found with this rifle is if it was over 400 that the, the BB started to actually snake through the air and I couldn't get a consistent and accurate shot, um, which is what you obviously need when you've only got one. Um, so I found the point fours in this, nice and stable, a nice smooth flight out to you know a good 60-70 meters most of the time and uh, yeah just nice easy to cock, a little bit of weight to it, not too heavy, a little bit long but it looks pretty good and at the end of the day that's all I'm interested in so uh, yeah we'll get some shots here at firing and uh, hopefully you'll be as impressed as I am thanks for watching Quite far, isn't it? 